Hello awesome people! I hope your day's going as awesomely as you are. Today we're taking a look at the 2015 short story by Mary by Misty Massey called The Fairy Wrangler. This short story was written for the 2015 Kickstarter copy, a uh, book that we've been looking through, The Weird Wild West, which was had a lot of different short stories submitted for it. Um, overall, now Misty Massey does have a Wikipedia page, uh, but it's not that long. It's only like a paragraph long of stuff. Uh, she published her first book mad kestrel in 2008 so i'm going to be reading the bio uh, from this copy which i will link you to in the uh, comments below misty massey is the author of mad kestrel from tour uh, as i just said a rollicking fantasy adventure of magic on the high seas and kestrel's voyages a set of stories following captain kestrel and her daring crew her short fiction has appeared in rum and runestones dragon's lure and the big bad number Two. Misty is one of the featured writers on Magical Words. Uh, when she's not writing, she studies and performs Middle Eastern dance. Uh, you can see more of Misty's up to at her website, which is uh, mistymassey.com, or find her on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so that's her about her page here. She's also one of the editors uh, for this collection as well, which is pretty cool. This is a 13-page short story. Uh, it took me about 25 minutes for me to read it a couple of nights ago. Uh, I didn't record it yesterday because I had allergies. I didn't want to sneeze through the thing all the time. <laughs> uh, and so forth. we got two stories left. So we're almost done with this collection, which is pretty cool. And I'll get out here in a couple of days. Uh, and then I obviously will uh, move on. But you'll see what I'm moving on to earlier because I'm doing these uh, short stories sequentially. Uh, one a week uh, for, for the Weird West. The Weird West genre, as a reminder, combines elements of, of old Western settings and trappings and, and tropes uh, with horror or fantasy or science fiction or two or three of those um and since this channel does a lot of reviews on science fiction fantasy and horror uh it's on cute <laughs> so i've been doing a deep dive into the genre with this collection i've also read a robert e howard short story before this started uh, that got things kicked off and was published in weird tales in 1932 in this weird west genre now this short story combines two genres it's really a lot of fantasy uh with the introduction of fairies and they get caught with the fairy wrangler uh, but then you also have um uh some horror aspects to it as too although not like traditional horror so it's not like gothic westerns or something like that kim newman has said that the uh uh, westerns of the weird west genre have two subgenres: uh, native american curses and gothic westerns that combine gothic horror elements like like zombies or vampires or haunted houses that are literal, literal ghosts um with uh you know the trappings of the old western um and so those are the two subgenres. but this has more fantasy elements like like fairies um, um, which you can tell from the title, The Fairy Wrangler, getting wrangled. <laughs> and then you have uh, the other things that are happening too, uh, with this sort of story being told in more of a horror way. Uh, so it's not like horror in the traditional elements of its sense, but there's more, it's telling the story in a, in a scary um, and moody and atmospheric way. It definitely was fun in, in this Weird West subgenre. Uh, so no spoilers, but this story features a protagonist who is hunting fairies to sell at her local town and she's developed a method to hunt these fairies now the fairies are not nice in this era uh, they're mean they will attack people uh, and that sort of a thing so she's figured out what to do and it's a short there's not a whole lot of world bullying that happens in this short story i did like the core concept but i didn't find it to be particularly resonant uh you know just a couple of days later i don't remember that much of the short story um, like I normally would, or all the details and so forth. Um, so I don't find it to be particularly resonant. So I'm only going to be giving it a 6 out of 10. Uh, uh, all of these short stories were, were submitted uh, to this Kickstarter collection uh, that we've been taking a look at, and then they selected the best. So I've been giving 6s or 7s to all of them, except for Ruin Creek, written by the Martin Couple, which I gave an 8 to, uh, which is my favorite uh, short story in this collection. And my favorite thing I've read in this genre. Um, I've been doing a deep dive into this genre because I watched uh, the 1960s uh, spy, western, steampunk, and science fiction short story series of, of that was inspired by it. Uh, the later on, the Wild Wild West. 
And then, like I said, I read comics, I read short stories, I got a novel in the queue that I bought already. Um, and then I've watched other uh, videos too, like the Legend series from 1995 from UPN, or the 1993-94 series by on Fox called The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr., which I heard was good, but I'd never actually seen. Or the 1935 serial that was written uh, and, started, and starred Gene Autry in his first starring role, The Singing Cowboy himself, uh, which is a, a science fiction western combination. So I've read a lot of different things, but there's just nowhere for me to go with the TV stuff. <laughs> uh, but we're going to still read some stuff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Again, just two more stories left. I'm going to read the next story today uh, and then knock it out, read it, review it tomorrow. So there we are. I'll go ahead and leave it to it. Have you read uh, this short story or anything else by Misty Massey? If so, I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below, whatever your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this series, let me know. Or if you enjoyed this short story, let me know. Uh, if you like this, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more of these to follow in the future. And then if you like this video, again, why not hit that subscribe button? And then thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening uh, in our times and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact you invested this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.